such an awkward position. You want me to talk? <laughs> Sorry. Do you want to know? Yeah, I, I had to know. <laughs> couldn't wait. I can't I, wait. I, I couldn't. I'm using pop rivets or attaching it? Yeah, these are plastic ones, but we're, the, the real one's going to be metal. He's not confused. I was just saying, we're having a little bit of identity crisis. There'll be branding here. It'll basically say, born off-road. It's um, nice and narrow. Yeah, it's... Like, from the front? The, th the idea was to keep it inside. My idea was to keep it inside. Yeah, that's good. Um, basically, just put... I don't even need to hold it. Putting it up there to make sure that everything looks like it lined up pretty nicely. And it appears as though it fits, fits really, really well. Are you doing a full test fitment or no? Uh, we will be with the 3D printed prototype, um, but as for right now, we're we're currently just drilling holes all in our truck. How's it installed? It's the clamshell design. Um, we have a foam gasket here to help protect your paint when this goes on the vehicle. So that way, if you were to take this off in the future, there wouldn't be scratch marks all over your truck. And then it has an inner gasket, which seals here. And then another piece, and then it bolts on. So you bolt it in from the backside. And then another piece that comes in behind it that has a gasket that seals on this face. And then there's long through bolts that go through here that pull that one in to make it nice and tight. Then it goes underneath behind your fender, through to here, and then goes through the inner fender wall and into your airbox. So this is the other portion of your snorkel. This is gonna run along the inside of your fender. There's two lugs inside of here two bolts that pass through the outside. Now, it's really hard to support the side inside the wheel arch. There's not a lot of room, so you can't really have locking tabs and all this other stuff. And to prevent you from having to fish your hands around inside of there to put on hardware, you're simply gonna tighten up these bolts and that's gonna snug this side in and keep it locked in a rigid place. On the opposite side, there's a bolt. One of the holes that we drilled, just gonna pass the bolt through and that'll keep that in place as well. So this basically is going to slide up. Okay, so you're going to live up there like that. So you have to drill a hole in the fender wall and a hole in your stock airbox or your Mishimoto airbox. And uh, that'll, that'll enable you to get nice, fresh, clean air from outside the, uh, the engine bay into your truck.